All right, here we go. So I got my code on the screen right here. So hopefully this works. All right, so I put in the code. Here we go, let's click register. And three, two, one. All right guys, Splits here. And this right here is an iPod Touch. And we're gonna see if PS4 Remote Play can even run on this thing. So if you actually go to the App Store, and if you search PS4 Remote Play, so here's the app. So if you actually go down a little bit, it'll actually tell you that this iPod is the oldest supported app to use PS4 Remote Play. So usually when that when it says that, like it usually means that it's not gonna be the best, but we're gonna see if it is, if this thing even runs, or maybe it'll just crash. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I already have it downloaded. So before we set up everything, just look at this thing. This thing is so freaking tiny. Let me actually compare it to my iPhone. So look at that. That's a huge difference. And then look at the back, like look at that small camera bump. I don't even know what the heck this is. I think that's like the Wi-Fi thing. Let me actually, let me see how the camera quality is on this, on this thing. Let me take a picture of my PS4 controller. So I don't know how that photo turned out. I'll probably put it in the video, but. All right, so we're gonna set up everything and hopefully this works. All right, so there's a big problem. So yeah, I can see my PS4 controller is in parry mode, but for some reason my iPod touch is not showing. It should like show up PS4 controller right here. Oh my God. All right, so apparently you can only pair a PS4 controller on iOS 13. And this thing is on iOS 12 and it won't let me update to the latest one. So I guess we won't be using the controller. So that means we'll have to use those crappy controls on the screen. All right, here we go. So we got the app ready. I'm gonna press start. I'm gonna register manually. So I got my code on the screen right here. So hopefully this works. All right, so I put in the code. Here we go, let's click register. In three, two, one. Oh my God, is it actually gonna work? Wait. Wait, it's actually connecting. Oh my God. Wow, it actually connected. And it's actually working. It's like a Game Boy. So everything I do from here, yeah, I can see. And I should turn it sideways. It's kind of hard to press on the small screen. All right, so usually I would just play my controller from here, but fortunately it doesn't work. So yeah, I can see these on-screen controls. That's what I'm gonna have to use. Can't wait. All right, so, oh, look at that lag. So let me start up Fortnite and see how this goes. Here we go. All right, so here it is, iPod Touch on PS4 Remote Play. So I just got a new emote. Okay, I'll just take it. So before I show like gameplay, if you guys want to know how to do this, I actually have a video on how to PS4 remote play on your iPhone or any phone. This also works for Android and you can actually use your controller, but since this is on iPod Touch, it doesn't work. So if you guys want, you can go check that out. It's pretty easy. So hopefully this is a good angle. So right off the bat, I can just tell you like my, like I can just tell like my thumbs are going to take up the whole screen. Like this screen is so small. like. Compared to the PS4 controller, like it kind of reminds me of like those keyboard accessories that you put under your controller. So, yeah, um, don't expect any high kill gameplay with this. Like, all right, so here it is. So yeah, I can kind of see like my monitor right there. So everything that you see on my iPod Touch, it's actually showing on my monitor. So. I'm just getting used to the controls. 
And also the sound is coming from the iPod Touch. Like there's like this small speaker that I'm probably gonna block because I'm like the way I have to hold it. So I'm gonna try not to block that. But holy crap. Alright. Let's try to get a let's try to get a win here. Oh my god, the sensitivity though. Whoa, look at that lag. Why isn't the analog sticks like doing anything? I think I can only press one button at a time. Like I don't Oh my god, look at that lag. Look at that lag. Oh my god, look at that. Alright. There's no way this is playable. Alright, so I just realized my freaking fan was on. And now you guys are probably hearing the PS4 sounding like a jet engine. Alright, so task one is to hit this tree. Boom. The sensitivity is so bad. Oh my god, the freaking lag. Yeah, this is terrible. Alright, so here's a shotgun. I'm pressing oh, R1 and that. Alright. Alright. Why can't I go? Alright, so how do I pull up the map? I think it's. Oh, there's the touchpad. Okay. I'm in the circle. Alright, there's no point of getting material because there's no way I'm gonna freaking do 90s on my iPod touch. Oh my god, I'm getting sniped. I'm gonna have to dodge and weave. This guy doesn't know I'm playing on iPod Touch. Oh my god, turn around! Why isn't my character turning around? Oh my god, it wouldn't let me, like, turn around. What the heck? Great, I see someone building. Oh my god. Alright, I'm done, dude. There's no freaking way this is possible. There's no way. I really wish I could connect this, but I want to see if I can even download like Fortnite Mobile on here because this iPod Touch is pretty old, so I'm wondering if it's downloadable on here. Oh, wait. iOS, oh my god, this thing needs iOS 13 or later. I'm surprised this thing isn't like hot, like on the back. It's hot, but I thought it would be like really hot to the point where it, it would burn my hand, but. Yeah, this thing is terrible, like, this thing is just not good, so lots of lag. And my thumbs were literally covering the whole screen, and it didn't even feel comfortable playing, so, yeah, guys, don't do, don't remote play on iPod Touch, like, just play on your PS4. So, yeah, guys, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and, yeah.